Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another Transformers haul vid. Um, I've managed to pick up some interesting bits, shall we say, over the last two weeks. Um, first week of the boot fairs didn't go to plan, the weather was rubbish, which I expect it was for pretty much most people. Um, <laughs> Get me words out, luckily last weekend, or the one just gone, um, the weather was much nicer and being a bank holiday weekend there was a second boot fair on, on the bank holiday Monday it wasn't as brilliant as it could have been I was really hoping it was going to be a jam-packed one but I think a lot of people had got all of that out of their way um, on the Sunday so swings and roundabouts um, it still gave me a few extra bits anyway getting to non transformery bits first, I'll work my way through. Um, there are a few bits I'll try and whiz through. First thing, non transformery managed to get an Eagle Annual. Uh, 1986, it is like brand new, um, wonderful condition, brilliant stories as well. Um, and quite sort of like, they didn't pull their punches at all when they made these back in the day. Um, you get one story right at the beginning, it's like an alien monument, load of tourists there, all visiting, volcano erupts, kills them all, you know, that's the first couple of images, so, scars children for life, anyway, perfectly fine, lovely, 50p, I'm not going to argue with that, that's great, um, always like picking up the old annuals when they're like that, again, non transformery bit, there weren't actually that much which was non transformative actually what I managed to find I picked up a more modern day Chewbacca figure and it's probably to go with like a modern Boosh figure so it's got like the chain like when he was taken to uh, Jabba's palace um, it is properly fitted so it's not just something that's randomly got caught around the neck of the figure really pleased with that um, really good version of Chewbacca it looks actually a lot better than the original figure does so if I get to put out uh, my more modern figures as well as the old ones it'd be quite happily displayed and that's pretty good um, what do we go for next I'll do annuals before I go into actual bots because we've got a couple of bots but they're not transformers as such as well transformers 2015 annual like brand new still got its trading cards and everything in the front obviously from Argos because it's got the code on the back originally 7 99 50p and the same goes for a Transformers bumper activity annual pack again 4 99 reduced was originally 7 99 as well again probably from Argos because of the codes 50p as well so I got a pair of them for a quid not gonna argue with that either um, really pleased even though I haven't opened the activity thing, I might leave it just on the off chance I find another one there. I can open one, leave the other one mint. Almost seems a shame to open it, although I'm curious about sort of like the activity books and stuff in there, but we shall see. Anyway, all goes nicely to your sort of annual collection and that, which again is something else I want to get out and display. Anyway cracking on I've got to push through <coughs> don't want to make this too long a video non-transformer transformers if you like found a rock lord not sure if I've got this guy or not I'm pretty sure I don't but then I've picked up so much stuff over the last couple of years I could have it um, don't know the name but great little mode um, not much paint wear on the gold coloured plastic or gold painted plastic luckily uh, rather than gold plastic itself but really pleased with that it's a little bit loose in the legs but something I can always tinker with later down the line managed to pick up another GoBot which is one I've been looking for slight bit of damage but I can live with it now they call this one Future Machine I'm sure he's got a different name um, I think they used it a couple of times in the toy line of GoBots. I'm not sure if he had the pilots in the later one either. I think because it, it's 
this is more like when it was the piloted vehicle, a bit like when Diaclone were piloted vehicles, which became Transformers. Um, I think this might be the precursor to the actual uh, GoBots when they were actually still like automated robo suits sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's missing one finger off one of the claws, but other than that, chrome is beautiful, rubber tyres and that are beautiful. It's always nice to pick one of these up. It's like the G1s because a bit of die cast, so he's got a bit of weight to him, but really nice. Um, hardly any sort of paint wear. There's a little scuff on the side there, but I should be able to touch that up okay. Really nice, really pleased to pick that one up. Now, oh no, there was one other little small one. Again, missing a bit, but there is one of the evil mini sort of go bots. Um, he's just finished. Oh, I've oh, got to learn to talk. Rushing through, see? Um, he's missing one of the tail fin parts off his back, but I might be able to sort that out at a later date. I've got the bigger version, I think, of this guy. So always nice again to pick them up and again die cast metal so he's got a fair bit of weight but hardly any paint wear so that's brilliant now getting on to transformers if you forgive the gesture first things first robot heroes one can't remember the name probably long haul something like that um, I think I've got this one not sure if I have it would be one that would be up for trade or just give to somebody. Uh, I got one of the MicroMaster combiners again. Um, I believe I need a replacement for the one of these I've got because I think my one's missing the crane arm. Um, he's still missing his bucket. Now this was from the same guy who sold me some of the other Transformers the other couple of weeks. I'm guessing he's had a more route through his loft and has turned up some more. I will obviously if he. See if I see him at any other boot fairs, I'll make a beeline for him again. Um, but managed to get that off of him. I did get one of the other MicroMaster constructor cons off him as well. Um, yeah, more on him in a minute. I also, while I was going around, found the obligatory box shots, Bumblebee, a later version of Ironhide, and possibly Brawl or Megatron, depending on what colour scheme one that one's supposed to be. Um, oh, there he goes, opens up. So I'm hoping Brawl, rather than just another generic Megatron anyway. Also managed to find, although I think the spring mechanism sort of latch part isn't working, I actually managed to find one of the box shot launchers, which is always good, so at least there's something to fire them off, even if you have to do it more manually. Now getting on to bits. Now this like I said, the same guy that uh, I brought, I've actually got them still sat there, Night Scream and later Star Scream from the Machine Wars line. Um, like I said, he's more or less said, oh, that's the only Transformers you've got. And then whether he's buying up toys and then selling them on at the boot fairs or whether he's just had a bit more sort through his loft and he's literally found, oh, you know, I've got something else I didn't know I still had. So... Like I say, he brought along a whole tub of Transformers. Some of it was bagged up, some of it was loose, some were complete wrecks. Um, but I had a look through, and he, where he had stuff bagged up, I thought, I'm going to have to buy bags of stuff with random bits and figures in what I don't really need, some random side reverse figures and stuff. And he actually said, because he knows I properly collect, he said, go through, pick out the bits you want, we're just make up a price from what you picked out so that was brilliant that means I didn't end up with tons of other junk which I don't need anyway sorting through I picked up out of the bits in the bottom of the box turret for one of the power core combiners I'm pretty sure I'm missing the barrel off this turret so that will help finish a figure so that's always good I also found not one not two not three, but although this one's missing a couple of bits, nearly four of the Power Gold Combiner um, partner figures, uh, whether you want to call them Target Masters, because they do sort of mainly turn into guns, 
but this one's the only one that's missing a couple of bits. If I see him again, I'll try and see if I can find the parts, but he may never have had them either. But I think it's like a head off a bird and one of the wing parts off the little figure. But always worth picking those up if I found random broken ones and it's got the other parts but not, say, the legs, because I had to find the legs actually for that one and they were knocking about loose so there's a good chance if I see him again he might have those bits no one's going to buy an odd little tiny part like that from the boot fair other than a sado like me but like I say managed to pick them up as well in the lot really pleased sorting through the boxes now it could just be a recolour I don't know but a version of signal flare possibly um, if not same mould different name Missing his energy on weapony bits, but don't really care too much about that. Possibly missing, can't really quite remember if there's some little bits what are supposed to hinge on the back of those legs there as well. Again, I might if I'm if I bump into him again and get to root through if he's still got the same sort of parts and that. Might see if I can find the other bits to him, but I hadn't seen this colour version of him before, so pretty pleased to pick one up. Again, saying I need help with parts. Now, he didn't have the parts, and I don't think he ever did because he's usually pretty helpful and sort of like points out if he knows that the bits are in there. But I did manage to pick up a classics figure of Starscream. Now, he's missing his null rays and his wings. Bit of a pain, but other than a little bit of paint wear, he's pretty tidy, and even in robot mode, you know, it's not too horrendous maybe sort him out some wings at a later point but if anyone's got any spares knocking about drop us a line I'll sort you out either do a swap or pay you some money for them if you've got some I thought there's a reasonable chance that somebody might have some bits of that because people customise the seekers and being that it's a more recent lot I don't know it's worth asking now I did find, now again I don't know the name offhand, I haven't had a chance to research it and that, but I found a bot and he was complete, which really made me happy. Um, one of the movie line ones, but it's one of the ship ones. Now, like I say, I can't remember the names offhand because these were not in the film. They were like the smaller, lesser line sort of thing, uh, just to bulk up the toy line. Really like the ship mode on it I've seen the blue and sort of grey colour one of this quite often and he's always broken but I'd never come across the black one before and he is complete and it's really nice um, probably not the greatest figure um, but just as the alt mode so nice to get something a bit different um, and a really good little mode and like I say I've never come across the black version of this before so really pleased to pick that up. Now get into some more interesting bits. Now also in amongst this box of stuff which this guy had I managed to pick up a near complete, though there's a little bit of damage on a couple of them, Decepticon MicroMaster planes. Now if he's missing his front nose cone and there is the other one what's missing as well. But I have got a damaged one of these which has got the nose cone but damaged fins so I can make up a, another MicroMaster from him. Always good to pick up the MicroMasters because when I get all the bases and that sorted out, when I finally get everything displayed, it's always going to be nice to have more troops and vehicles to position all over them. But not only that, I found the rear section, and this is in probably better nick than my one I think, because I think mine's looser than this. The rear section from the MicroMaster, which comes with um, the Autobot headquarters vehicle. Like I say, really nice stiff joints, no rust on him at all, so no discolouring either, because light plastic. Really pleased to pick that up. He's not cheap on the internet, I'll tell you that now. But not only that, I nearly got a complete... Now, if you'd had the rear section of this other one with the little rocket, it would have been quite a good find because that's quite a rarity. But I nearly managed to find the entire Lunar team, like Combiner team, 
MicroMasters as well. All in pretty good condition. Very few bits. I think he's about the only one where he's got rust on the wheels, which is those little hubs tend to rust. Colour wise, they're all brilliant. And joint wise, there's no slack joints either. And he's even got his radar dish as well on the moon buggy. Really nice to pick them up. And again, gives me the chance that I can have one robot mode, one vehicle mode when I display them. I also managed to get, though this wasn't off the same guy, this was just out of random box, I found Slammer and Scamper off of uh, Metroplex, so again, always great to have G1 spares for Metroplex. In the same box as those, I also managed to get one of the shoulder pads for Carnivac. Now this annoyed me slightly because this is the left one and I've got the left one and I needed the right one so the only thing I can do is look to see if I can make this work to fit him on the right hand side of the pretender shell or if somebody needs this left one and you've got a right one randomly let me know and I'll quite happily do a swap with you but I really need a right shoulder pad for Carnivac's uh, wolf mode in his pretender shell or if you've got one and you want to part with it Again, I'll happily sort you out either a swap or some money for it. Now, getting back into this guy's box of toys, the guy with the Transformers who said he had no more Transformers. A G1 Trigger Bot with really nice trick, uh, really nice sticker detail, sorry. Um, a little bit of a scuff on the windscreen the trigger mechanism isn't working but I have got one and I'm pretty sure my stickers aren't as good as that so I might try and do a mishmash and maybe see if I can swap over the best parts to form a decent one with working gizmo but other than the gizmo not working it's actually and that little scuff on the windscreen is in really nice condition no color fading or discoloration so really nice but that's not all G1 crankcase. Now the mechanism is nearly perfect, it's just a little bit proud when it's in concealed mode with the weapons, but flips around perfectly. But more importantly, I actually think this is in better condition than the one I've got because the sticker details on this guy are again like brand new. I really don't know, this guy couldn't have been played with very much. I mean, the one on mine. I'm pretty sure my windscreen's all chipped and that, where that's perfect. So really chuffed to pick him up. He's definitely gonna be in my collection. Now one again, which I have got, and mine is probably near sort of mint condition because he was the later end of the G1 line where I'd sort of was stopping collecting. So he never really saw much play wear. But I also managed to get from the same guy, G1 Ruckus. Again, he's all got all of these stickers, but they're a little bit more play-worn. So especially the chest one, which always is going to rub because it's underneath the car mode. But other than a little bit of sticker wear, he's in lovely condition as well. And again, Gizmo works perfectly well. Really pleased to get him as well. But that's not all. But I'll jump back slightly now. So that was all from that same guy selling that same stuff. But... I'll move on to a couple of other bits I've picked up first. Now, I managed to get off of the internet, off of Evil Bay. A guy put up some parts for sale. I offered him a buy it now. He was quite happy with it. I was quite happy with it. I managed to get the antlers for Megatron. Oh, how long have I been looking for these parts? God knows. They are originals, they're not uh, repros. Uh, fitted in beautifully when they just got that little snap when they go in lovely so all I'm missing now is one of the missiles on the back and his main gun missile I've got leader one somewhere for him so I'm really pleased I don't think his electrics work from where I got him from a booth there before but it's not the end of the world really pleased though to get the antlers I'm still short of the ones for Galvatron but loving the fact that Megatron's finally got his parts other parts I managed to pick up in amongst a lot of bots that I got, um, which I'll show you in a sec. I also managed to pick up another 
guy, I don't know if it's Swoop or, I doubt it's Silver Bolt because he's on old in Beast Wars, but it's probably Swoop or something like that. But managed to pick up another guy and he's actually got his tail. Um, still didn't have his arms, so I didn't get the arms sorted out. But at least I've got a decent bird mode of that. Still didn't have his other white bit and I still haven't dug the other one out for the sword. But when I was searching through my parts of Beast Wars bits, I actually found both of these missiles for the chest. So bonus, I'd obviously forgot I'd got them in amongst other parts. So he's that bit closer to being completed. Now I did show these guys on Facebook. I uh, managed to pick up, I can't remember his name, it's something like Armadillo, but managed to pick him up. He's missing a mace weapon and both of those his handgun and his mace weapon should have his rear feet on as well so there's a couple of little accessories what I'm sure of but other than that robot is fine anyway so quite pleased with that uh, I picked up in amongst the lot again I have the figure but mine had bits missing but it's also got the weapon so I've got to do a bit of a find him out and sort of do a mash between the two but got Beast Wars Snarl. Like I say, my one had the forearm missing, but it has got the tail weapon, so like I say, I'll make up the best one I can out of the two bits. But what I really brought this lot off, it was on a buy it now, only for a few quid as well, literally, because they classed them as junkers because they were missing bits. In amongst that lot was this guy. Tarantulas. Now I think Tarantulas is a guy, although there was always that feminine tinge, I don't know, to the character. But was going really cheap, although it had the weapon which was stored, which was good. The, I saw the launcher weapon with the string hanging down, so I knew the launcher was there. But it had legs missing. Now again, this is where picking parts up at boot fence is a really good idea because I had a whole set of legs ready to go because some of these legs detach and can be fired out the gun as well really pleased so rather than paying out well I've seen some people asking I don't know something like about 20 quid for this figure where he's complete I picked him up for nothing like that a few quid with the other Beast Wars bots in it as well and I already had the spare parts to sort him out and of course Snarl as well so real bonus on that really happy uh, it's definitely one of the bots that I've been after trying to pick up I've got the trans metal version but I do kind of I've gone back on what I initially thought on Beast Wars and I quite like some of the original ones as well um, still looking for parts for some of them as well now getting back to said man uh, with his Transformers who didn't have any more Transformers. Now this guy's missing a bit. Now I do have him complete. Um, again it's whether I want to keep another one as a vehicle mode version and then one as a robot. G1 Target Master Sure Shot. For a guy who didn't have any more Transformers he had a lot of G1. So I got Sure Shot. Again bit of stick aware like I say he's missing the bit what fits up here which is like the orange uh, sort of fairing come spoiler sort of section off of the back of the car mode possible I might even have a spare part of that somewhere knocking about um, possibly a trade if somebody wants to let me know that's possibly up for trade um, as I'm not sure I will show that one in vehicle and robot mode I'm not sure it all depends on space but yeah that one's possibly up if somebody needs it the next two figures we're in a bag together and again this all came in one lot and I'm just going to say it was cheap for the whole lot a lot cheaper than probably most people would like me to say so I shall just let your imagination run riot with that one I found in one plastic bag G1 Sunstreaker and believe me apart from a bit of sticker wear this guy is in really nice condition he is missing his spoiler again off his back everything else is there other than the accessories but most importantly if I bring that in that front of that car is hardly chipped the paint 
there's one tiny little chip in the corner the rest of that is just sticker wear so he is technically in better condition in its not in so much the stickers because I think I've restickered my uh, Sunstreaker but in actual build and finish of the original sort of metal feet and that it's in better nick than my one so I will keep him and possibly do a vehicle and robot mode version when I display him but he was sharing a bag again in lovely condition missing all the accessories and stuff G1 wheeljack and again look at the front mine that needed touching up because the white paint had chipped off the front metal feet they're like perfect and again these are originals these are not um, reissues because they are all properly um, has rode up <laughs> for want of a better word but also I actually do think both of these are pre-rub because there are no rub signs so they're possibly early G1 before rub signs became an issue because of course they brought rub signs in to stop people making knock-offs so really really pleased to find those two and again like I say they were in a lot let's just put it this way uh, we're not talking double figures but one of the things and god I did look through sort of the stuff looking for if there was any other parts or any other figures from this set but one of the little sets which I don't have which I will eventually work around to picking up but I found a figure not even that impressive particularly but I found one of the monostructor figures in amongst these bags as well and again for a guy who oh, I haven't got any more transformers and then brings all this to the next boot there finding any parts of monostructor are like oh yes please I mean obviously the gold ones break and I'd love to find gold ones where they don't break or even Dino Kingdoms ones would be even better because they're not gold plastic but to find a part of Monostructor at a boot fair is fantastic even though they're really underwhelming <laughs> little transformers I know is it Pure however well, yeah, if you pronounce his name uh, has done a review on uh, was it Mitch Santona one of them's done a review on the G1 um, Monostructor set. So to find one of them for pennies, effectively, um, is brilliant. I'd really love to find the others. Like I say, the two ones will make with gold plastic. I've actually got one of them, but he's literally falls to bits. Every time I try and glue him together and then go to move anything, he falls to bits again. So it's like a hopeless cause with that one, I'm afraid. But... I did have a look to see if there was any of the pretender shells as well but no sign but there's always hope that if he's turned up this stuff when he reckons he hasn't got any there could well be something else in amongst his stuff so very pleased with that but that's not the PS de resistance of my haul this week no no just to upset Gary Chum <laughs> um, he likes his Beast Wars how about some boxed Beast Wars? Mint in box, never been opened. Got it off eBay. Uh, a couple of quid in postage, which is all right, fair enough. I don't expect somebody to necessarily send stuff for nothing. I won that in a bidding war at £1.20. So Transmetal Deluxe, Transmetal 2 Iguanus. For £1.20, it's literally, again, like it's just come off of the shelf in a shop there is not a mark not a crush to the bubble nothing so it's I don't even want to open it because it's just it's lasted I mean when this came out has it got the year on it oh excuse me for a moment uh, 1999 so it's 17 years old and nobody's opened it and it's mint and yet I got that for £1.20 plus a couple of quid postage I still beggars belief I, I was amazed to be honest I put a slight I think I put a couple of quid more on it on the bid um, but I was quite surprised when I saw the thing come up oh one so I went and had a look for £1.20 which was the next bid up from where somebody had bid 99p so whoever you were who bidded 99p and you thought that's all it was worth no you should have put more on but thanks for not doing that anyway 
Um, yeah, beautiful. Um, I will display it in box because there's always a chance I'll find a loose one and it would be a shame to open it just on that chance. But yeah, crazy. But that's still not the best. Gary Chum, you're going to hate me. Well, not hate me, but maybe envy. Off of eBay. And I did, well, actually, there was one disappointing side to this one. <sighs> From America, because not easy to pick up in this country, I managed to pick up a, it's a junker, and it needed some work doing on it already before you'll see it at the stage it is now, because it had that paint put all over it in different colours all over different parts of its body which I've managed to scrape off. Now I'm looking for two parts. I have shown this on Facebook so you may already know this one. I finally, finally, finally got a G1 Roadbuster. Now his legs, the metal needs touching up as you can see there's paint wear on the brown parts if this ever focuses back in. There we go, magic. Yeah, you've got paint wear on the metal parts of the legs. Bit of a pain. Might be able to do something with that later. Accessories, some of them are there, some are missing. I've actually got some other parts on the way. Um, but the main parts now, if anyone's got these, if you've got a junker knocking about, um, if you've got the upper brown arm pieces, nothing's broken on this, but for whatever reason, I think they're screwed on through little holes in the side there. But both of the arm pieces are missing for whatever reason, but the rest of him is in good condition. The only dodgy bit I've got to watch is there's a little crack and I don't even know if the camera will pick it up. You might see it in the visor if it ever focuses in. Is it going to work? Let me do that. Let's see if it'll work. Yeah, it's a little crack there you can see running through the green part of the visor. The brown plastic on this is a bit brittle and a bit dodgy so you have to watch them if you ever get one of these which hence probably why these shoulder parts are missing. Other than that though, and like I say, I had to take off grey paint off of one foot. There was brown paint all over the orange. I managed to sort of scrape carefully. Um, and just, I mean, even the gun, what it came with, had black paint all over it. But luckily, because it was like an animal, it just pinged off uh, without scratching the actual gun to much of a degree anyway. I was cleaning it off with a craft knife. So, he's a bit of a work in progress, but the main part, minus the shoulders, is there and in tidy condition. It does transform fine, um, but I'll give you a bit of an update when I get some other bit parts on him. But yeah, very pleased to finally get G1 Roadbuster. He's one I've wanted for a long time. Um, but that's not all. In the process of making this, this isn't the first time I've actually filmed this because I had a knock at the door a minute ago and something else I've managed to pick up off the internet and he still needs some work and I've literally like I say I've only had this probably the length of time I've been making this video ah G16 shot now I've been after him for a long time he's got a little bit of damage which the owner did clearly point out to me when I brought it but I did manage to get it for a good price so I can fix it Metal pins missing for the hinge on the back. Don't care, can sort that. Missing his guns. Again, I'll probably try and pick him up some. There is a guy, Spurney Reynolds, I think it's how you pronounce it, on eBay, who does repro parts. He does do the guns for this guy, so I may see if I can get a set of guns off of him, unless I can get a set of originals, which would also be very nice. Needs retro labelling because he's not stickered at all. And he's got a loosey goosey leg, which I noticed as soon as I got it out of the packaging. But don't care. G16 shot. One of the few, I shall put it that way, one of the few G1s I don't have. Um, other than more random stuff that came out in Japan, such as the Monstro, so sort of stuff, and was very late G1. Um, I'm only missing a couple of other bigger G1s and a few of Action Masters. So he was a big one. He's, you could argue, grayish. So very pleased to finally get six shot. I've had a little knockoff version of him, what's a more deluxe size. 
if I wanted the proper one. Anyway, I'll leave you to bask in the image of Six Shot and say thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, it's supposed to be, <laughs> cross your fingers, really nice weather this weekend. So, there are one, two, three, four, at least four boot fairs going to be on this weekend. So, I'm hoping two of them are biggies. So hopefully I sh shall be back with yet more stuff which I will fill this room up with and then realise I've got to move it all when I finally get around to decorating the room to display this stuff. Rod for your own back possibly? Yes. Anyway, thanks for watching and I shall see you again.